Richard Armand Mills. He uh, put up a Twitter thread the other day. It said, in this clip, former Vice President... No, no, sorry. The, the Twitter clip says, uh, it's time to talk about former Vice President Joe Biden, the open sexual predator. A thread. Moment. And then he goes on to just show, I don't know, what about one billion examples of Joe being a creep? Let's look at some of these. Oh, God. By the way, I've just, I've been going through this for about an hour before. This is not a fun job. This is like working in the sewers. I really, really don't enjoy this research, but here we go. Look at this. Look at the way she instinctually moves away. You see her elbow there? Children are not sensual beings, okay? No, no child goes, mmm, silk sheets. I love the quality. They're not that physical. I love kids. I, I love goofing around with kids. They like poo jokes and stuff. They like it when you pretend that you got their name wrong. I don't know, dumb stuff like that. But they don't like to be stroked. Even my own kids, when I hug, like my son, he's sort of like, okay, I guess we're doing a hug now. He's not like, oh, dad, let's hug. It's, it's just not the way kids operate. They'll have one shoe on. And no foot, no shoe on the other foot and not even noticed. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> they'll be outside in shorts, freezing, and you go, get inside. You're going to get a cold. And they go, I'm fine. No, you're not. Your legs are blue. So the fact that Joe doesn't know this is downright concerning. I think he might be on drugs. I think maybe he's dealing with the death of his son and he's on Quaaludes or a Xanax. And it just makes him like, junkies are always like that. Two male heroin addicts will just make out when they're alone together because they're just so bleh. They're not gay. They're just bleh. You're just a blob on these on these pills. That's one theory. But even if you are that guy, don't indulge yourself, you disgusting pig. Like, just go, oh, I'm on heroin. I should maybe go into the other room and scratch my face and not start rubbing children. Ugh, look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, do you see the way she patted him there? This is horrible for the parents. Now, I would just choke him out. But I understand that these guys are saying, I either go, hey, what's going on? Or I lose uh, or, or I retain my career. And if I say what's going on and get your hands off my daughter, you've lost your whole career. Now, you should lose your whole career if someone molests your daughter. You should. It, you should not sell her like a prostitute to the vice president uh, in order to grease the wheels. You know, I always say this when people neglect their children, go try that to a bear. Go up to a cub and start sniffing its hair and see how mo the mama bear deals with it. So these, and, and by the way, Joe Biden, look at him touching this girl's hair. Ugh, I've never touched a strange girl's hair in my life. It would never occur to me. Can you imagine, can you imagine you going up to your friend's kid and going, hi, what's her name? And just like scooping her, Wah! it's disgusting. So Joe's aware that he has incredible power, literal incredible power. He's the vice president of the strongest nation on earth. And these guys, their whole career is looming. And by the way, the safety of the child's future too. If he gets fired and he's persona non grata in politics, that's this guy's whole career whole savings, everything down the tube. So he has that sort of careericles hanging over his head, and Joe goes, what a wonderful time for me to move in. And to be clear, I'm not one of these pedigate guys that believes that politicians have a cabal of young children that they groom the way Muslims do in Rotherham. There's plenty of real child rape gangs in Islam. If you're curious about that and you want to fight against it. So I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy theorist when it comes to pedophilia. I, this is looking like someone who has disgusting tendencies and is indulging them because he's possibly high. Oh, come on, you jump in here. Oh, he's, this is a thing he does too. There's a, a, an array of contestants there. There's old ladies, there's dads. He always goes for the girl and pulls her and goes, you come here, come here, get close to me. <laughs> Why does the girl have to be next to you in every photo? And you'll notice, by the way, the instincts of the dad are always, their ears are up, their backs are up. Yeah, what's going on there? What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't lose my job. And as Richard points out, he always says, uh, no serious boyfriends till you're 30, okay? Which, which is a, a, like a pedophile thing to do because what you've done there is in a seemingly innocent way, you've brought sexuality into her mind, into everyone's mind. You've made it sexual. You're talking about sex with a child when you say that. 
I don't mean sex with a child. I mean sex with a child. You You're know also I mean? kind of saying, be a whore until you're 30. Yeah. yeah. You can have fun with me. You can have fun with me for a little bit. It's not like it's going to ruin your... Look at him. Look at him looming in like that. You see that? Ah! Ah! Here we go. Here we go. All righty. He's, he's, he's like, look at his face there. Go full screen on him. Look at his face. He's like, I'm going to hell. I just sold my daughter to the devil. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it's always what seriously. Oh, this one's gross too. He really loves it. Come here. Get over here. I want to touch you. And then we're gonna have. There you go. Oh, this one. This one is, for lack of a better term, my least favorite. This one I've watched a few times now. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Watch this. You can imagine a pedophile looking at a girl's, what's this called, clavicle or whatever. He'd want to touch that, right? He'd just go, oh, let me just, let me just grab a little touch. And it looks like he touches her chest here, not her breast, but her whatever, chest plate here in this the most disturbing way. Check this out. Right across. Get everybody in. Watch her right there. Switch here. You can't. Did you see that? Why did you touch her there? Why does any man ever do this? Look at that. I don't understand the point of that. I mean, even with the hair, there's some argument. Let's get your hair out of the way for the photo. Why are you touching her skin there? These go on and on and on, by the way. And when you're watching them, you're so happy when you see one that's not completely disgusting. <laughs> like, it's, it's, uh, you're sitting there going, please don't touch anyone, please don't touch anyone. And then the photo goes and you go, oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. Thank you. Uh, again with the touching of the hair and the hands on the shoulders. And he makes these horrible big. jokes too that don't make any sense. Like, oh boys, you better watch out. You better you better guard your sisters. I mean, he likes the Asians a lot too. Now this is allegedly uh, uh, what it is. Jeff Sessions swatting his hand away. I don't think it's that. He's, he's playing with her hair. But how many of these do I show? Oh, this one is a good one. This one went kind of viral when it happened. He gets in there and starts sniffing this guy's wife. Have you ever smelled any of your friend's wife's hair? Can you even imagine? I don't like hugging my friend's wives. In fact, I think it's kind of uh, respectful to be sexist to your friend's wife. Like, I don't know a lot of my friend's wife's name, even though we've had dinner several times. And that's sort of like an ode to him. I know a lot of Catholics will be sort of mean to a guy's wife, like distant. And I think a lot of women who aren't, aren't familiar with Catholics see that as sexist. But it's more like, I am not thinking of you. Like, I'm putting a burqa on you, in my mind. But the, so sometimes you have to hug them. And I always just sort of go, okay. Yep, blah, 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 blah. But the idea of hugging my friend's wife and just... Oh, or just putting my hands on my friend's wife's shoulder and putting my nose, like me going up to your fiance, Dave, and just being like, oh, Dave's doing a great job. Mm. It's unfathomable. It's the last, I'd, I'd sooner punch her in the stomach. Look at him get in there. Oh, yeah. I've never touched and to the a US woman Senate that I'm not well, sexually involved with in that way. And confidence. Look at that. Got a lot of thanks to give out here, first and foremost. And she's like, do I cause an international incident here? The answer, by the way, is yes, you do. We had 620,000 men die in the Civil War. You can cause an international incident by being sniffed. It won't be World War III. Oh, and the babies. Oh, this is a good one. Hillary's familiar with Joe. And she goes, oh, great, here we go. One of his super hugs. And that, so what she does is she... Pats him a lot. All right, that's enough, Joe. That's enough. And he holds on to her like a bullfrog. Look at that. You know when you pick up a frog and its arms dangle? Ah, okay, Joey. All right, Joe, Joe, let, I know you're high. Let go of me. Let go or I'm going to kill your family. Oh, you won't kill my family. Yeah, sure. It was a regular selfie until Joe Biden kissed her on the cheek. See, the beauty of this kind of stuff is journalists are lazy. So all you, a lot of the time the news is out there, like when Mark Levin exposed that whole uh, unmasking thing, it was, he just looked at what was already there. He didn't have a secret informant. And all Richard's done is just compile information that's already out there. And then journalists go, oh good, someone did my homework. I'm going to look this up. And yes, it's a whole Twitter moment 
where they go, is Joe Biden a sexual predator? Yeah, you finally tuned in. <laughs> oh, Lord. And there's montage after montage. We were all familiar with this, by the way. But it's not until it all gets put together that you see it. Oh, this one is brutal, by the way. I'm sorry, by the way, I'm making you watch kiddie porn. I apologize for that. I know you turn on this show to be mildly amused at funny takes on the news. I didn't know that you... I'm sorry to enforce this. This one is grim, folks. Please turn away. Do you remember that? Look at that. No, not smile. No date to your 30. He says that joke every single time. And look at his hand. Scoop in. To her chest. Uh, so then, thanks to a reporter doing his job. That's the crazy thing about reporters. Their job is really easy. And even then, it's incredibly rare that they do it. So so this Ram does his job. And the next thing we know, uh, we have a former Secret Service agent saying, yeah, yeah, we had to get Weinstein. This was like Hannibal Burris when he exposed Bill Cosby. Everyone knew about that, but he finally let it out. So there he is, a little montage of them. And apparently, uh, speaking on the condition of anonymity, the agent asserted that we had to cancel the VP Christmas get-together at the VP's house because Biden would, grab, uh, would grope all of our wives and girlfriends' asses. <laughs> he would mess with every single woman or teen. It was horrible. Oh, look at this picture. Can you make that full screen? Ah! Now, if you want any perspective here, just imagine you. Imagine you going up to your friend's five-year-old son and going, Who's this? Oh, is this Kyle? Mwah! Hello, little boy. Ah! Blah! Blah! And he talks about women in the Navy and they, they, oh yeah, that's the problem with women in the Navy. Like if, even if you have consensual sex in prison with a female guard and you're a male, you've been raped because you're in a cage and you have no choice. Uh, women in the Navy are the same way with the vice president. They can't disobey orders. So when he says, come over here, come over here, she has to by law obey him. So what these guys would do is we got to come up with an excuse. Hey, Cheryl, uh, there's a collect call on line two and just grab them out of there. And then we find out, according to this source, that he likes to skinny dip, but only when all the men are away. And then when the men are away, like a little moist Santa Claus sneaking into your bed nude in the middle of the night, he crawl, dips his toes and gets into the water naked and starts slithering around like a nude old water snake as the female Secret Service agents have to go, holy shit, this sucks. All right, let's... This this can go on for days. What's this one now? Bears. I need a hug. Kid. Come on. I need a hug. God love it. your reputation. That's just that we'll end on that one because they, they go on for days. But look at this. I need a hug. I need a hug, kid. Come on. I need a hug. God love it. Look at him look down. He does it to a few women too, so he won't look like a, a total pedophile. I'll, I'll throw some bones to the oldies. Look at this. Ah, it's just a joke. Biden's a creep. Anyway, let's talk to Ram about this. Um, so, you know what I was saying earlier about your videos, uh, that's that, that tweet thread is, that information was already out there. And Journalists are so lazy and so bad at their jobs that when someone just does their job and goes, I'm going to take this, this, and this that's sitting right in front of me and compile it and show you something. And now it's a Twitter moment. Everyone's freaking out. And, and you go, it, it's sort of like Louis C.K. with the masturbating. Everyone knew <laughs> that. Do your job. Exactly. Exactly. You know, basically, Gavin, I was just watching Ellen. I was looking at InStyle <clears throat> and you see, you know, Biden on Ellen and he basically says that he's not ruling out, um, you know, a, a race in 2020 against Trump. And I just was like, what? Are you kidding me? I was like, you <laughs> did all these confirmation hearings. You're basically groping little girls. You know what I mean? You can see it in, the, in a few videos. He literally is like his hand is like over, you know, the chest area, basically like where breasts would be. It's just very, very uncomfortable. Yeah, you say uh, where breasts would be because she's five. 
Exactly. Like these are little girls. I mean, it is just, you can see the discomfort on a lot of the parents and families' faces um, in a lot of these videos. And I mean, just very, very creepy like behavior patterns. Um, For instance, okay. So uh, in the first thread, you know, there's a quote where he says, um, you know, he he kind of always says little certain quotes and he repeats them over and over again. So um, one of the quotes he always says, as you've seen in the first thread, is no dating till you're 30. Um, Another quote that I didn't talk about that he says is there's a few times in these videos where he says, you're going to avoid purgatory. Or my mom always told me um, that I'm going to avoid purgatory by being a good boy. And he just says like these really weird quotes. Um, He also- What the hell does that mean? That's what I, I'm thinking. I'm like, what's going on? What was going on at the Biden household when he was growing up is what I, I really am starting to wonder. Um, and so you go to, pur- I don't even know the, I, I don't know the Bible that well. You go to purgatory if you molest a four-year-old? Is that the rule? Right, like he's resisting her prowess or something? Right. You, you've got to just watch this. There's, so basically, I'm starting to call them the Biden grope tapes because when I started looking for just a few of them, I kind of like stumbled upon a treasure trove. There's literally over 60 of them. I mean, if I wanted to just do endless thread after thread, I could. It's really disgusting. But Gavin, like, okay, for instance, another really, really weird, uh, just kind of like misquote or just you just wonder what he's getting at so in one instance he tells a little girl that you know she with little brothers that you know we got to keep the boys away from their sisters and that this is something that his parents would tell him right but he said keep the boys away from their sisters like in other words the brother from their sister and then in another time he says it again and he says keep the boys away from your sister so it's like um biden like are you saying that like the brother might be into his sister are you saying that like He's why are keep- we why are we discussing sex around children again yeah. and of all the things to bring up it'd be like talking to a black guy and then constantly bringing up slavery or something like right, why do you exactly. keep going to that weird subject again and again it's it's making everyone uncomfortable i have a very crazy theory you want to hear this one yes now yes, this is definitely. just a theory i'm not a newsman but i think he acts like he's on opiates, like legally prescribed Xanax or something, because he has this okay. sort of junky, like, hey, oh, come here, come here, yeah, and they, he's, it's so sensual and touchy and feeling hair and stuff, it's, a, yeah. a, it's like a disgusting drug addict. It does, it does seem like that. And I mean, he's just so overly touchy feely, not even just with the little girls, but definitely particularly yes. extra with the you little girls. Here, like, you come here. Yeah, yeah, and like physically moves them with his hands. And then there's this one clip I shared very, very late last night, um, so it's pretty fresh. And basically he meets the, this family like outside of a event or a building or something, and he tells the story, and it's really, really creepy, Gavin. He says, quote, at about, uh, he talks about his daughter, and he says, at about, quote, age um, 12 and a half or 13, that uh, she wakes up with wakes up and there's a snake in the bed. And then he says that after there was a snake in the bed, that she basically didn't want to have anything to do with him, that she felt embarrassed when he'd kiss her in public. And I mean, he just says this like weird story in front of all these people and they look uncomfortable. If you actually watch a lot of these videos, the families actually ask for the the meetings with Joe to end early, but he, he insists on keeping them going and then like keeping this like creepy, like, you know, touchy feely, like just vibe going on the whole entire time. Dude. And I mean- There's one clip. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, there's one clip that you really, 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 I feel like everyone should watch um, in the second part of the thread that I posted last night. It's with Senator Kelly Ayotte. When she is getting confirmed, um, he is just so hands-on on her daughter and just like stroking her and touching her. And you can see that both of the Ayots are very um, uncomforted by it. And he bas- and Kelly actually, at some point, looks down at her son and it seems very strategic. And she says, like, basically, do you notice all of the cameras? And yes. as she says camera, she looks, straight at Biden in the eyes. And you just feel like they're basically trying to tell him, hey, like, dude, you're being filmed right now while you're doing this. It's just crazy. He's the snake, dude. You understand? Yeah. I think pedophiles do yes. that. They, they're like, I'm a monster. And he likes to skinny dip nude when, yes. when no one's around. He's <laughs> like, I'm a little snake. Are you scared of the snake? Do you want to bite the apple? Uh, ah! This has been the uh, least fun thing I've ever researched in my life. I need to have oh. a shower with a steel brush and just scrub, scrub, scrub. Oh.
Yeah, and it's like I'm sitting there, I'm like watching video after video, and I'm just screaming at my computer screen. Like I'm just like, I'm just like, this guy was the vice president of the United States of America. He literally is just doing this stuff openly, and and it just makes me wonder, Gavin. It's like, do you really get to a point in your life where you're so sick and twisted and getting away with it that you're just like, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna start doing it on C-SPAN? Like, hey, just you guys tune in. Now tell your, I'll tell my pedophile friends they can like watch. You know what I mean? And. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I, maybe on my honeymoon uh, with my <laughs> wife, I might consider sniffing hair if I hadn't seen her in like a year. Right. <laughs> but sniffing <laughs> anyone's hair is the last yeah. thing on your mind. <laughs> yeah. Like just especially to do it like habitually where it's, it's you know, just recorded so much that people actually can say that it's a habit of yours. I mean. I'm going to be in D.C. soon and the first thing I'm going to do when I see you just grab you, pull you in, say, get over here, and just <laughs> put my nose right in your afro, just going, mm, <laughs> ah, mm. <laughs> Oh, Gavin, I'll make sure like that cocoa it's butter. Mm. <laughs> what shampoo is that? Is that apple? Mm. <laughs> Herbal essences. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, but, man. Well, congratulations on breaking this scoop that was just a matter of you doing your job. Right? Can you believe it? I can't, but that's another thing. Like you said, you know, the information's been out there. It's available. You can find it. Again, there's so many videos, and that's what's really horrible about it. Um, and so it's not that people are creating a claim, because that's the thing, is people are trying to fight me on this. They're like, oh, like, you know, you're doing this strategically because of, like, what's going on with Roy Moore. And the truth is, is I have not defended Roy Moore at all. I don't really yeah. have like an opinion because like I've taken the evidence and I'm just like kind of treating it as anyone would. And, you know, basically I'm just, you know, it is, I do have a little bit of skepticism with claims because, you know, it reminds me of like the 2016 election. Trump basically had a bunch of accusers come out, then right. they suddenly went away. And so that's why it's like, I kind of just watch, you know, and just wait. And so, um, this is, this has nothing to do with Roy Moore. For me, it's sharing it with the public and just reminding them, like, don't forget who Joe Biden is. Should we really give him, put him in another position of power? The videos so. are right there. It's like Project Veritas. You got a problem with it? What part of the video is fake? Like, what exactly. did I do? Did I CGI his hands? Oh, seriously. They try to say stuff like that. And it's like, well, then why is there over 60 videos that are with yeah. him doing this kind of stuff? Like, come on. <laughs> Ram, thanks for coming on the show. We're out of time. I like you more than a friend, and I'm looking forward to smelling your hair when we meet. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And um, I look forward to heading. <sighs> <sighs>